Hi, it's Tim Cohen. I want to talk to you today about the subject of testimony and how important testimony is when we're talking to others who don't know Jesus. You know, often we can relegate evangelism to those who are evangelists, and, and actually often we do just that. Those who are inclined, those who are just inherently gifted and, or outward people, outward going, and so they engage people very easily. And, and we can relegate evangelism to, to just those, that small segment of the church. And there are those who have those giftings. There are, there's a fivefold evangelist who has that anointing and not only to do it themselves, but to stir the church up in evangelism. But I want to look at the Gospel of John. We've been going through principles from John's Gospel. I want to look at the Gospel of John. At the end of the experience or encounter of Jesus with the woman at the well, there's some interesting verses that I want us to look at. Many Samaritans from the village believed, this is verse 39 of John 4, many Samaritans from the village believed in Jesus because the woman had said, he told me everything I ever did. When they came out to see him, Jesus, they begged him to stay in their village. So he stayed with them two days. Long enough for many to hear his message and believe. Then in verse 42, then they said to the woman, now we believe not just because of what you told us, but we believe now because we've heard for ourselves. We know that he is indeed the savior of the world. I love this passage. You and I can have a, make a definite difference in the lives of unbelievers and make it far more easy for them, very easy in fact, for them to come over to, to become believers in Jesus. I call this the bridge of faith that's built by testimony. It's a, it's a bridge, you know, a bridge goes from one, uh, one, one piece of land to another piece of land. A bridge goes across places that are hard to cross without having help, which is the bridge. That's where the bridge comes in. We build bridges over, over rivers and ravines so that we can get from one side to the other easily. Without the bridge, it would be very difficult. And oftentimes it's the case with unbelievers when we present the gospel of Jesus to them. They need help. They need help and they need your help. They need my help. And I love this story because here's this woman who came to Jesus and, and she had obstacles. There were things in the way of her getting to God. Even to Jesus, the, 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 the God man sitting there right in front of her, she had obstacles. She had natural obstacles. You don't even have, how can you give, give me water? You don't even have something to, to, to put in the well to get water out of the well. I mean, I, I don't even, so she had natural obstacles. She had cultural obstacles. Why are you even talking to me? You're, you're, you're a Jew and I'm a Samaritan. They don't, Jews don't have anything to do with us. Cultural obstacles. And she had spiritual obstacles. Are you saying that you're better than Jacob? I mean, he's the one that gave us this well and blah, blah, blah. And she was not only, she not only had these obstacles, but she actually was tempted to be offended and, and presents herself almost as if she was offended at Jesus in her in his interaction with her initially and yet jesus does something so powerful he reaches beyond her obstacles and he reaches into her heart with the power of the supernatural nature of the kingdom and, and we we covered this in another video but i just want to encourage you to lean in the holy spirit don't lean in your own understanding don't engage in arguments or don't try to dismantle the the obstacles just give them the supernatural nature of the kingdom and, he, and so he told her about her life. And he said, you don't, you don't even, you're not even living with uh, your husbands. You had five previous, but the man you're living with right now isn't even your husband. And she's like, oh my gosh, it, it, it turned her heart open to Jesus. She said, you must be a prophet. What was closed became open. Do you see how that worked? So this is the testimony of the woman at the well. And she goes back into her village and she tells everyone that she can find about what happened to her. See, that's what testimony is. It's, it's a recounting of what happened to me. This is my testimony. This is what I have experienced. Wow, I just, I love this, this subject. You know, some, some, uh, sometimes we don't feel like we've got a lot, a lot to testify of. But dear ones, can I just tell you, Jesus said, to him who was forgiven much, he loves much. That person who's been forgiven much, finds it easy to love. And I, 
I just have to tell you, if you, you're struggling with uh, grasping in your heart what you might have as a testimony, we all have that as believers. He has completely wiped away the list of transgressions that were against us. He has forgiven us of everything that we had done wrong. I am now forgiven forever. It's incredible what God has done for me. That's a testimony. Do you know how many people walk around every day of their lives under the cloud of shame? Feeling bad, knowing that they are bad, that they've done bad, and that they'll probably do bad again. That, that cloud of shame all around them, and it, and it deadens their life. It creates such an illusion of despair that they mean, they mean nothing and will, will, will never mean anything. Do you understand how important your testimony of being forgiven would be to that person? Oh, in this story, it's so powerful. She goes to share with her village, the people around her, in her sphere. We don't have to go to India or in Asia. If you're called, go. But, she, but in her own sphere, she began to share her testimony. This is my experience. This is what God did for me through this man, Jesus. He told me everything I've ever done. And, and it's so powerful. When they came out to see Jesus themselves, you see, her testimony began to build a bridge across this difficult transition from unbeliever to believer, her testimony. They're listening to and believing what she said to them about her experience started building this bridge from their unbelieving heart to a believing heart toward Jesus. And they said, now we believe not just because of what you told us. See, they, they initially believed because of her testimony. How powerful is that? Their bridge began under their feet because this woman was willing to share what God had done, her own experience, and her testimony built a bridge of faith under their feet. And it made it easy for them to cross over from the place of unbelieving to believing. And now they said at the end of this engagement with Jesus, they said, now we believe that he is 100% the Savior of the world. Dear ones, what God has done for you matters. It matters not just for your own life, but it matters to those that need a bridge. Those that have a great gulf, they, it would be so difficult for them to believe if you weren't around and in their lives. And God has seated you in people's lives all around you so that they can have a bridge built from their unbelieving heart to a believing heart. And it's gonna, it's gonna, God's gonna use you. He's gonna take your testimony and build a bridge right underneath their feet. So the only question that remains is, will you share your testimony with someone today?